Okay, but it's I'm back once again, and yes, I'm still here at the Yellow Stand at MWC 2014, and I've got myself on a Nexus 4. You're thinking, what? Now, yes, a Nexus 4 that runs a Sailfish OS. Now, this is going to be coming, so you will be eventually be able to put this on to certain Android devices. They have a couple of other ones here, such as some Samsung, some, um, some, some of these Chinese manufacturers as well. But as we all know, the Nexus is one of the devices that can be customised. And here it is. So, like last year, when you heard of Ubuntu, they're going to be doing a very similar kind of um, offer. You'll be able to stick it on your device and play around with it and go down that route with it. But this one actually seems to work and it actually works pretty good. So, I mean, the gestures, turn the screen on and off, it actually works. At the moment, the knock on feature doesn't work, or as LG can't knock on, double tap to turn it on, it doesn't always work. But they are looking at fixing that in terms of the kernel tweaks. It runs very similar, obviously, to the actual Yellow phone itself. So, if you want to go into, say, the camera software, it'll boot that camera software up. Again, this is a pre production, so don't expect it to be the uh, snappiest in the world. So they've decided to get this out there so they can actually just play with it so it can just show you what they are going to be doing going forward. So you can probably see it's not actually working. It's actually covered up the uh, Nexus logo on the back there. So it's got these sailfish on there. So again, that one's not working at the moment. To go back, swipe that way. I'm going to go into some other things. So as an example, you've got your little uh, dialer one that you dial your friends. If you want to go to people with P, you can go down to it and scroll down. The whole experience itself is a very nice experience. It reminds me of BlackBerry 10, the BlackBerry 10 OS and Ubuntu phone mixed into one, but it seems better than both. It seems to do what they, what they both want to do, but in one OS. And I'm kind of a fan of that. And yes, you will be able to run Android apps. So you have your Nexus 4 running Android apps running still for OS. A bit of confusion, but hey, what can I say? It is a completely different kind of experience, and one I personally think is going to be pretty damn popular if they manage to get it out to market, you know, in more than directly, maybe going to some retail stores, and it could be a very popular device. But anyway, I mean, this is the sale for sure, so it's not really about the Yolo phone as such. If you want to check this out, I will put a link down below. Um, I've actually got hands on, and they're actually going to be sending me the software to have this on my Nexus 4, so I'll be doing a full in depth video on it pretty soon. What do you reckon, people? So would you be interested in putting this on your Android device, such as, again, your Nexus 4, your Nexus 5, wherever it might be? If you are, then again, let me know down below, and I'll see if I can hook any of you guys up, um, with regards to doing some testing for Jolla as well. If you want to do that, again, leave me a comment down below. It hit me up on Twitter, at Sam J. Pullum. If you're new to the channel, then do please hit subscribe. It is very much appreciated. This is me at MWC 2014. And yeah, I'm impressed. I'll see you in my next video. Cheers, everyone.